You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! On October 18, 1989, in West Branch, Iowa, Gerald Ford, the 38th President of the United States, shared history with students from across Iowa. Mr. Ford, what advice would you give a young lady wanting to become President of the United States? <laughs> well, I hope we do have a young lady at some point become President of the United States. Uh, I can tell you how I think it will happen because it won't happen in the uh, normal course of events. Either the Republican or Democrat political party will nominate a man for president and a woman for vice president. And the woman and man will win. So you'll end up with a, a president, a male, and a vice president, a female. And in that term of office of the president, the president will die, and the woman will become president under the law or constitution. And once that barrier is broken, from then on, men better be careful, because they'll have a hard, hard time ever even getting a nomination in the future. But that's the way it's going to happen. The president hasn't been seen since last Wednesday when he arrived here to recover from his COVID-19 diagnosis. He phoned the vice president on Sunday morning to give her the heads up. He told just a handful of staff shortly before that letter to the nation, as you put it, was released and stunned the world. He quickly endorsed the vice president to run in his place, and now she's looking to lock in the support for delegates to officially secure the nomination. Those delegates are now free to support any candidate they want. They're not obligated to support Harris, but we heard overnight that several state delegations have opted to endorse her, to vote for her whenever a convention is held. We may hear from a few other states later today. She could be formally nominated by the Democratic Party as early as August 1st, because party leaders were already planning to hold a virtual roll call for the president in order to make sure they meet various state ballot access laws across the country. Now, there's already big money coming in for the Harris campaign. Overnight, we were told, she raised nearly $50 million, the biggest one-day fundraising haul of any candidate so far this year, and an early sign of the support she's getting. Notably, that announcement came from the campaign formerly known as the Biden-Harris campaign, at least for the next few days, known as Kamala Harris for president. Joe Biden will not be the nominee of the Democratic Party in 2024. Kamala Harris will briefly become president, but the only way that in their party they can replace a woman of color is with another woman of color. And yes, you heard it here first, the Democratic nominee for president will be Michelle Obama. They have already rigged their primaries. The reason that they have canceled the Iowa caucuses and the New Hampshire primary is to put South Carolina, a state where a majority of the Democratic primaries or Afri primary voters are African Americans, and they will allow Gavin Newsom to purchase the vice presidential nomination, but the Obamas will hold him up for six or eight hundred million dollars to do so. You heard it.